decode this problem. And we're going to have to, after, as we read the problem, I want you to start thinking about the key word. It's not just a word, it's a noun that appears more than any other noun. Remember, it's not a verb, it's not an adjective, it's got to be a person, place, or thing in this, uh, in this problem. So let's get to the reading. And as I, and I, as I read and as you read it over, look for the key word, the key noun that appears more than anything else. Number 23. A store that sells handcraft items takes $3 per item plus 40% of the sales price of each item sold. The rest of the money from the item sales goes to the craft person. All the items cost $5 or more. If P represents the sale price of one item, which of the following expression represents the amount of money the craft person gets for each item sold? Now you're going to go back and you're going to read this over a few times. Just so you know all the different parts to it. And then we have here the expression. Remember I said it was going to be an expression because it didn't have an equal sign? Which one of these expressions represents the amount of money the craft per person gets per item? Now when we read this over, I asked you to think about a, the anchor. This is going to be the one word that appears more than any word else, any other word. It's got to be a noun. If you were doing this, you might have noticed this word here stick out. Now I don't think it just sticks out. I think it like screams out. When was a time? Let's count these up. Have you ever seen anything, ever? Where it used the word item, let's see, how many times? Seven times? Seven times in three sentences? Seven times it uses the word item. What does that mean? This is, this is going to help you when we do our key. So our, 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 our title anchor for the key is item. And this is, now what is the item? This is the thing that the person makes. So this, this craft person here, they're making this item. And this item, um, they're selling it to the store, and you got to do this visualization in your head. I don't know, we'll call it a, a widget madu. This, this is the item. And this item here can, this item is so good for a lot of things. Like, you can hold the door with it, or you can play ball with your kid or something. I mean, however you want to think about this item, this is the coolest thing, the, the latest thing. And they're selling it to the store, they got to give a certain percentage to the store, plus some money just for selling it, you know, and then they get a certain percent of whatever they make. So, I have that, really, I, I'm imagining some wonderful handcrafted item, beautiful item that you might give uh, to someone special um, or something to hold the door with. But um, I have that in my head. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to use the key strategy with the anchor of the item. I look at the answer choices here. I see a P, I see a two-fifths and a three-fifths. I see a positive three and a minus three. So now I'm going to place that in my key. i got to figure out, what is P? What is this minus three? What is this plus three? What's this two-fifths all about? And what's this three-fifths all about? got to make sense of these. Now watch what happens as I make sense of this. Let's see. It says here, P, if P is the represents the price of an item. So P represents the, that's the price of an item. Price of item. All right. What's minus three? Well, it says here that the store takes three dollars. Okay, so the, this would actually, plus three is the store. This is the store's I don't know, let's say the store's cut. Or better yet, store's money. Right? And um, so that must mean that the craftsperson loses $3. Would that make sense? If the store is getting plus 3, that must mean the craft, the person, this is the person's money, right? All right. Now, uh, if that's the if that's the person, I'm gonna use a different color for the person. This is our person. 
if the person is losing the three dollars, um, what's the, so I know that whenever I see a plus three, that's the store. Whenever I see a minus three, that's the person. What's two fifths? Well, if you know your core fractions, one fifth is twenty percent. Two fifths is forty percent. Now, what's the forty percent in relation to? The store, right? The store is getting 40%. So this represents the store's, we'll just say the store's percent of what they're getting. Okay, and then who's getting, who's the three-fifths? Well, three-fifths represents 60%. And this is the, the person's percent. Don't you hate it when your stylus, uh, there we go. So now I've got to go back and I've got to find out the equation that represents the person, the craftsperson. So we're going to be only focused in on looking for things that have a minus three and a three-fifths. So let's see. I look. This is a, an example where I could have a, a fork. I have a plus three and a, and a plus three here. And I have a, a minus three and a minus three here. So knowing my fork, if I know that I'm only focused in on the answer that's going to be, be a minus 3, I could eliminate A and C just for that reason. Because I know it's going to involve a minus 3, because that represents the craftsperson. The craftsperson is losing minus 3. Okay, so A, this is my fork. I used a fork, eliminated two of the choices. Now I'm down to B and D. What's the difference? One's two-fifths of the price, One's three fifths. I go back to my chart here. The person is three fifths, so it's got to be answer choice D. Let's do that again, real quickly, using the fork. Let's say I wanted to focus on the two fifths as my entry point. These two have two fifths, and these have three fifths. Well, since I'm focusing on the craftsperson, I'm focusing only on the craftsperson, I'm not going to be dealing with two fifths. I'm only going to be focusing on the three-fifths. So right away, if I took that avenue, I could eliminate these two. Okay, and if I was also limit, looking at the minus three and the plus three and knew that the plus three was a store, I could eliminate that one. So there's a lot of different ways I could get to the answer D.